um, chain stitch edging this is that I'm going to show you. Worked with two colours. A bit fiddly, but well worth it. Excuse the orange juice in my nails. I've been eating oranges again. But if you're not here to look at my nails, you just want to know how to do this. And I'm going to show you. I've done a row of plain stitches. Any stitch you like, as long as they're plain. Single crochet, double crochet, trebles, double trebles, whatever. As long as you've got a nice, neat, straight edge to work along. And I'm going to make four chain. One, two, three, four. No, we're not. I tell a lie. We're going to make one chain. I really sound like I know what I'm doing, don't I? Right, one chain. And turn. Make one double crochet into the first stitch. If you're American, that's a single crochet. I'm English, I call it a double crochet into the first stitch there. Okay, and now we make four chain. One, two, three, and four. And then we remove a hook from the loop and we get to colour number two. And with colour number two, go to the next stitch along, insert your hook and pull through colour number two, like that. Okay. And make five chain. If I can get hold of it, where's it gone? Make sure you get the right end. Five chain. One, two, three, four, five. Take your hook out again. Put your hook in colour number one again. Bring it in front of colour number two. Let go of that. Get a hold of the white. Bring it in front. And make a double crochet into the next stitch along. Single crochet if you're American. There we go, as is. And make four chain. One, two, three, four. Take it out. Let go of that one. Go back to colour number two. Insert your hook. Bring it in front again. Go into the next stitch and do one double crochet. Again, a single crochet if you're American. And four chain. One, two, three, four take it out, let go of that. It is fiddly going from one colour to another but the results are so nice if you've got the time and you've got the patience it's well worth it, well worth the effort to get this lovely neat two colour edging just keep swapping over making four chain and bringing the chain over and in front each time. There's the start of it. Okay, I won't bore you with that, but I'll do a bit more and show you what it looks like in a minute. So there, I've done a little bit more there for you. Bring it in the sunshine. Oh no, that's worse. Can you see that properly? Put the little light on. There we go. Is that any better? That's what it looks like. Same both sides. Actually, slightly different on the back. What you do have to watch though is as you keep um, swapping 
yarn because you keep pulling it in front of the other one your yarn your two balls of wool will start to twist together so you got to keep your eye on those otherwise you're going to end up in a bit of a mess and a tangle just keep on twisting the balls of yarn as you go along I, I rather like that it is fiddly okay for small projects I wouldn't put it around a huge blanket it would take forever but for, for little things little garments little little baby stuff around the bottom of a little baby dress or something it's really quite nice and neat <laughs> 